Lisa, welcome back to my veterinary series. Foreign bodies are very common in veterinary medicine. As you may or may not have experience with your own pet, they love to eat anything and everything. It isn't uncommon for us to be doing what is called an exploratory laparotomy to find what your pet ate and to get it out. Although many things can pass easily through the GI tract, there are some foreign bodies that pose a risk, whether that might be that it's sharp, like a skewer, and it could perforate, or it might cause an obstruction. If the object is visibly in the stomach, then we can induce emesis, and your pet will vomit up the object. If the foreign body is obstructing any part of the GI tract, then surgery is the only option. Some signs of the foreign body include vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal tenderness and pain, anorexia, which means decreased appetite, trouble defecating or only producing a small amount of feces despite straining, lethargy and behavioral changes, especially if you go to touch the abdominal area or you try and pick up your pet. In some cases, the owner may know that their pet ate something. In other cases, owners might not know that their pet has a foreign body and has ingested something they shouldn't have. The veterinarian will perform a full physical exam and get the history of the pet. It also isn't uncommon for repeat offenders, so often we do see animals that have had a foreign body previously. If a foreign body is suspected based off of the clinical signs and history, then we will most likely perform abdominal radiographs and or an ultrasound to find the culprit. Blood tests may also be performed to rule out any other causes. We perform the surgery as quickly as we can because time is of the essence here. If the foreign body is in such a way that blood supply to the tissue is compromised, they may become necrotic to a point where the damage is irreparable and parts might have to be resected. Some foreign bodies are complicated, in cats especially, it is common for them to swallow string and the string is actually visible underneath the tongue but it has passed through the GI tract. This type of foreign body is considered a linear foreign body and a linear foreign body just encompasses anything that is linear in structure. Linear foreign bodies can be especially dangerous because it causes the intestines to bunch up like a drawstring on your pants. Eventually, if it's string, it might cut through an intestine and lead to peritonitis, which is life-threatening. The abdomen is cut down the midline with the patient lying dorsal. We use an instrument that is called a balfour, and this just keeps the abdomen open so we can see everything going on inside. When the foreign body is located, the surgeon will use a scalpel to cut a slit in the intestine, and we will slowly pull the foreign body out with forceps. If part of the bowel is damaged or perforated, sections of the bowel may have to be removed. Once we have cleared the foreign body and we have checked everything else to make sure things are looking normal, we will flush the abdomen with warm saline and start the closing process. The surgical assistant will hold it on either side of the incision while the surgeon closes very carefully. Afterwards, a leak check will be performed just to make sure everything has closed properly and there's no damage elsewhere. When all looks good, the abdominal cavity is closed. Post-op, we will keep your pet for at least a couple more days. Some foreign bodies are a little bit complicated, so we like to have you know the peace of mind that we're sending your pet home nice and healthy. It is often recommended that if they have a tendency to eat certain things, or like if you're out on a walk and they just eat anything they see, we do sometimes recommend that a muscle be used just so you avoid further foreign bodies in the future. Next week, I'm going to be starting a new series. Stay tuned.